Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Okay, how y'all doing? I hope all is well. I've been doing a lot, a lot of uh, spring cleaning and preparing uh, my house for whatever. So I have not been live in a couple of days. But with that being said, I want to say thank y'all for being out there. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. Y'all really know I'm doing some housekeeping right about now. Just to make sure we can get past this first two minutes. Um, because I want to talk about Times Square. And, um, man, that, 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 that was very, very, very scary. Um, there was like multiple um, manholes that caught fire yesterday in Times Square. Fortunately, fortunately, there was no, no injuries, um, you know, other than uh, I think somebody fell down and twisted their ankle during the run, but con compared to um, the panic that it could have generated and it could have caused, I'm surprised. I am supremely surprised that more people didn't get, um, you know, panicked and ran through. So let's listen. This is what happened. This is what happened. Begin with those frightening moments in Times Square. Firefighters rushed to the crossroads of the world after an explosion-like sound. Let's get right to CBS 2's Thalia Perez. She's live on scene with more. Thalia. Jessica, fortunately for everyone, there were no injuries to tell you about. But I can tell you that this is a bustling area with a lot of pedestrian traffic. We'll push in and give you a look right now at the scene. Right now, 7th Avenue remains closed from, from traffic, from pedestrian traffic, from 44th to 42nd. We've got fire trucks and con ed trucks here. They're actually working around the corner on West 43rd. Firefighters say just before 7 p.m., there were three manhole fires. They say elevated carbon monoxide levels were found at 229 West 43rd. Eyewitnesses say it was a scary ordeal and everyone on the street began scrambling after they heard explosions. Once I seen the fire, the cops started telling me to back up. I slowly started backing up, but still, I started, like, and then again, I started proceeding, like, to the fire, and then it actually exploded right in front of me, and that's when I just, like, I started running. So again, you're looking live at the Con Ed trucks and fire trucks. They're still on the scene. I'm told they're in the process of venting and mitigating the cellar and sub cellar of the building where the elevated carbon monoxide levels were found. That is the latest from here in Times Square. Thalia Perez, CBS 2 News. All right. Thank you, Thalia. Now, if that, thank you. Um, ooh, that was from uh, CBS uh, news. But the thing about it, y'all, is those are some of the things that we don't never think about. All those gases and all the um, undercurrent, all the stuff that goes on up underneath everything. Just like in your lives. It's very uh, you know, easy to stay focused on the things that you can see right in front of you. You know, like how a person looks or what the person has on or how the person smiles, things of that nature. But underneath all of that are gases, are um, explosions just ready to happen. And you don't know when that combustion is going to happen unless you know 
that person has been vetted. And then a lot of times it don't happen then. And I'm just saying, to me, this this whole uh, 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 manhole situation was so reflective to me on how, how life really is. I mean, here you go, people walking. Do you really realize, Seventh Avenue, do you realize how... I mean, a normal day in the traffic in Times Square is incredible. So it's starting to get spring. The weather is starting to break just a little bit for New Yorkers, and I know how they move around. And I'm just saying, to to have multiple manholes catch fire, it should get people to really think, what's underneath all this shit that's moving all of this? What's underneath all this stuff? Is it, does it get cleaned out? Should it be cleaned out? And probably the answer is yes, because they don't know what caused those explosions. Uh, but they're lucky that a lot of buildings didn't lose electricity. Um, and then just like the great blackout, when was that? In the 70s? I think it was. When New York just went totally black. That was crazy. So, you know, like I said, I don't, they got the whole situation under control, but just the fact that multiple manholes catch fire in Times Square, that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. So, mm-hmm. Keep an eye on this and on this story. And also use it as an example to clean out what's inside of you that you don't combust. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. Okay. And I'll see y'all in the next video.